Hey, what's going on guys? Double One Eight Set Shadow here. We're reaching a few days before the release of Uma Musume. Now it's only three more days to go. And I just wanted to take a look back at some older cards that I haven't been covering and some new ones that I haven't taken a look at very often as we continue to move ahead. There are some items to keep in mind going forward with Dragoncraft 2, which I'm going to go over. But the first things are leader cards. In particular, in one of the last market watches I covered, the foiling, foiled leader cards that you get out of set 1, the ones that correspond to the ones that you get on the starter deck, I noted how a lot of them just sunk in value so hard to the point where they're under 40 and even $30 to a degree. Two of them are managing to hold on to their value, the starting one being Luna. And right now her price is still in the $80 range, although it's fallen off pretty hard from the market price of $125. And it hasn't been selling well regardless. From the last three sales, that's been a spread across October to the end of November. And available listings right now are 84 to 90 and they still go back up to 100, but there are a number of listings available for lower than 85 right now, or just right around there. Then the other one is Isabel, which is significantly lower than Luna, given that its lowest price is now in the high 60s. So 67, and then we've got a lot of 68s. Then we go back into the 70s here. Overall, 20 listings on the market price on this card is only a little bit lower than Luna's at 118. But these are the only two leaders that have managed to maintain their value to a degree. And even this one is having a hard time selling over the course of the last few months. Last three sells were in November and December, but they were spread out across at least 10 days apiece. And as we continue to get more leader cards, it's very likely that these ones will just continue to see their value get chipped at over time as players want to continuously get into new ones for high rarity. Then we have Bahamut, which this card has been staying low in value pretty consistently. The regular legendary for the base form, that one is still $3 to pick up and has 33 listings. If you want the Evo version, it's less than a dollar right now with 51 listings and the market price is barely above a dollar. And then if you want the super legendary versions of each, it's about $15 for the regular base version. And the Evo is currently $4 base and the market prices on each of these are significantly higher than their base prices. If you want the ultimate rare of the evolved version, that one is still holding around $60 and has 10 listings available. As for how well it's selling, it's actually not too bad. The last three sales were all over the Black Friday weekend, but before that it only sold a few times between October and November. But it's been a pretty consistent $60 sell. Although, as we continue to get into later formats, I would imagine that it will continue to sink. Angelic Barrage is another one that's still continuing to sink, where this is the version that you get from the BCS tournaments for Bushi Road right now. Base price has dropped to $15, and we have a number of listings at that price range with a good amount of quantity. And ultimately, we do have a good amount of quantity under $20 right now. And we only have one or two, I think we only have a few more BCSs left before the year is over. So we're still going to see a few more of these hit the market, and then we'll have to see where it goes from there. But I would imagine it'll stay around $15 for some time. Dracomancer's Rights, the foil version, has a few listings back on the market right now. Two of them, though. Last sales were lightly played versions at 12 and 13, and the available ones right now, there are four copies overall, and they are just under 11.50 and basically $11 if you want to pick them up. When you consider shipping, it's more like 12. 
but at least it's a little cheaper than what it was selling for. There's also Unicorn Dancer Unica. I covered this a while back, and it was short on listings for its base version foil, but listings are back up in quantity to about 10, and this card is now $5 if you want to pick it up foil. If you want the Evo version, it's got 19 listings at about $3, and then if you want the base rarities, Nothing to worry about on that front. We've got 34 listings on the base version and 23 listings on the Evo, and both of them are under 50 cents. Sun Oracle Pascal. This is a Dirt Rune support card that came out of set 2, and I haven't really covered this one much. But it doesn't have much going for it in terms of value. 30 listings overall starting at $3. The market price is just above that. The Super Legendary has 18 listings starting at 17 ish dollars. And ultimately, with Dirt Rune, I would think that this is something that you definitely consider as a one or two of tech. But, I mean, yeah. Ultimately, it's still a pretty easy pickup if you want to have it for Dirt Rune. Then you've got Archangel Rena, which is also out of set two. This one is nice to have in your back pocket for potential future play, as it can gain you back play points while also resetting your Evo deck if you need to use it again. Uh, there's no real, there's no major deck that can really take advantage of the skill at this point, but there could be potential, there could be potential mechanics that could abuse this somewhere down the line, so definitely not a bad idea to at least have some in your back pocket. Then we've got Flame and Glass, which the super legendary for this card is down to what? Let's see how listings are actually looking on this. So 550 is the low listing, and we have a number of copies available on it. Market price on this card is in the $10 range, and the last few sells have been sparse at $9 all the way down to $7. So... I guess this is just a stock sellout for some vendors to get rid of these. No one's really looking at Flaming Glass that much. Even the base legendary version is at 34 listings at 30 cents to start off with. So it's not really getting looked at very much. It's an easy pickup if you want to get it now and play around with it. If there's any indication from Shadowverse itself, there might be some potential applicable usage of this card down the line if Flaming Glass gets some other support cards. And finally, Dragon Song Flute. We talked about how this card was holding in the $10 range, but it looks like we're reaching the end of the year and sellers are trying to offload some of their quantities, so they're a bit cheaper right now at $9. If you need to pick these up, this might be as good as it's going to get as Uma Musume format is still looking to see Discard Dragon as a big candidate for meta play. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. With Uma Musume coming out this weekend, I hope everyone's excited. I am certainly excited for the new format, and we'll see where it goes. See you guys later.